Well, September is National Suicide Prevention Month, and suicide is one of the leading causes of death throughout the nation, and the panhandle is no exception. News 13, Tess Rowland is live at Life Management this morning. Good morning, Tess. Hey, good morning, Chris and Aaron. Yes, so I'm told that 30 to 50 people in Bay County take their lives each year. So that averages to about one person a week. So I think it could be someone that you know, one of your family members. And I'm actually joined this morning by psychiatric nurse practitioner, Ms. Jennifer Davis. So, you know, how do we destigmatize suicide in our community and make it less taboo and something that we could talk about? Well, for something just like this episode, I mean, providing awareness. That's a big thing, letting people know that it's okay to ask for help, um, providing support, different walks, different events, everything that we can do, you know, that, that just helps to get it more into the open, so maybe it'll open a conversation. Definitely normalizing it within society. And if you are a caregiver for someone that you know, maybe having those thoughts or feelings, you know, what are some resources for them? How can you be the best supportive person that you can be? Definitely. So the biggest thing to keep in mind is that if somebody does ask for help or gives little hints, this is your chance while they're willing. Um, a couple of things that we have here at Life Management Center, we have a no wrong door policy. If you call us, we will get you in the right direction. We also have the 24 hour hotlines. Uh, that anybody can call seven days a week so that they can get the help that they need. Great to have resources like this available in the community. And, you know, let's talk about something that's been in the media headlines for quite some time, you know, with Simone Biles and, you know, her dropping out of the Olympics due to mental health. You know, she's a big advocate for mental health now. And, you know, she inspired, you know, a lot of young kids look up to her. So how do we have that conversation about mental health with young children? Well, I think because she is so impactful and people do look up to her, that it's a great conversation with the younger children, especially, or adolescents, that, you know, hey, this happened to somebody famous. Let's open up that conversation and start to make these words more normal in our vocabulary so that when the issue does arise, that we can talk easier about it. Great, great advice there. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And again, all those links will be available on our website, mypanhandle.com, in case you or a loved one may need those resources. And taking a look